I'm on a wild ride through the uncharted regions of the world in search of the most beloved, unique and beautiful ingredients. I'm off the coast of Portugal in southwestern Europe. I'm meeting with Elder Cunha, the man responsible for making one of the most unique wines on the planet. I've never seen grapes embedded in sand. Sand makes all the difference. This is the only part in the world that you see this. Wow. In the mid 19th century, there was a bug who killed all the vines in Europe, except the ones who were planted in sand. And so how old are they? Around 200 years. Bloody hell. And they stay in the sand. They wow. need to get that heat to really mature. Throughout the whole They stay in the process. sand until today. So really? it came in the perfect day. We need to put these grapes out of the ground so they get some air and dry. Yeah, what a process. Where's the trellis? Where do we? Well, there's no trellis. Instead of a modern trellis, Signor Gonzalo crafts simple lifting posts from the reeds that surround the vineyard. What a technique, may I? I believe he's afraid that you ruin something. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't ruin 200 years of history. Oof. Ah. One huge vine and one sore back. So it's time you get your treat. <laughs> <laughs> the family jewels, the family jewels, <laughs> Mr. Gonzalo. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. This tiny vineyard producing such magnificent wine. It tasted like one of the most expensive burgundies anywhere on the planet. That, for me, is one of the best kept secrets in Portugal. Honestly, uh, what a joy. Thank you. Portugal has been an amazing eye-opener. But now, on to my next adventure.